pedals the front wheel. Maybe one day we could do something powered from this. Rick up, what you doing? <sighs> Ready, let's hit it. Chunky, chunky, chunky. <laughs> We've got a bike. We've even got a dog. Here's Buddy. Here he is. Who's the, who's the picnic? <sighs> Terrifying. Terrifying. <sighs> Right, before we go into the scrap pile, what I'm gonna do is draw it on here, sort of roughly how I think it should sort of look like. Um, so we'll do a rough diagram on here, and then we'll uh, sort of go there. But you know, this is gonna be a part one and a part two, so if you guys have got any in comments, or anything you reckon we should add to it, anything funny, you know, whack them in the comments below. But this one, so I'm gonna sort of sit here, I'm sort of hoping I've sort of set the camera angle up pretty good. Uh, let's choose some pens. Right, let's start with this one. The tricky part with this one is making the belt strong, but also, you know, enough power to go up. Right, I've just had a quick thought. I've cut these inner tubes open because this is what I'm going to use for my belt. But you see on the inside you get this chalky powder sort of stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wash all of these out because then the Evo stick or whatever, impact adhesive, will stick to that a lot better. So I'm going to clean them out as well and then hopefully they'll stick down. But that's ultimately what I'm going to use for my belt. I would use something else, but because we're in lockdown at the moment, good luck getting a belt from anywhere. Right, so I figured out a pretty cool way. If I pin it here and pin it here, sort of stretched out, it keeps it nice and parallel too. It kind of glues more in a, like, I don't know, more in a tension sort of state. So that works really well. And then I've obviously, don't want to get these, that glue bit stuck to that. Then glue this one and then stick it down on that one. Yeah, that's one that I done a minute ago. So it's getting there, it's drying up nicely now. Right, so I've made the belt, I've made it out of 12 inner tubes, 26 inch, uh, 2.5 to back to 2.1 to be specific actually so yeah i've glued that all together with some impact to heat adhesive but anyway we're going to go back to the frame now and crack on with this and we'll come back to this once it's dry all right
Right, so we've done the gear in here. This is the axle going through. And then I've obviously done some Frankenstein job on there. Um, and then obviously goes up to the chain. It goes up to this main drive here, which I've screwed onto the side there, you can see. It's, it's definitely country, but it will do. And then we just made up some spaces and stuff because obviously the chain's offset to the wood. And then that goes through from the on the drive axle to the drill. So yeah, pleased with that. That'll do for now. Let's just see if it works. Right, so now I'm going to take you to the hopper part of it. Bear with this, I need to put some counterweights on this because of the drill at the other end. But um, yeah, so this hopper I'll be able to take off. I need to square it up a bit. And, look, and you can see sort of all inside it where the other, uh, where the other main pulley is. And then, uh, yeah, the belt goes right up to the top. And then, uh, yeah, it should be good. But yeah, so that hopper, because what I was planning on doing maybe is having the hopper so I can one take it out so I can do any minor repairs on it but two I might be able to change it and actually put because this one's ideally set up just for a shovel but I'd like to put it so you can have a, a wheelbarrow just walk straight up dump a whole barrel in and you know it just goes up on the conveyor belt so and then into the shake and bake yeah but uh, yeah that pleased with that so get in there you right so remember me telling you about the axle that comes up so we've got the drive axle that goes through and then on to the makita drill i'm not sponsored by makita but if you are watching this makita please feel free to uh maybe send me a couple of drills that'd be nice thank you very much anyway so right so the drills here everyone knows what a drill's like excuse my camera work so obviously that's the trigger to make the drill go round. which then there you go don't worry about that screw. Anyway, drives round. So as you pull that trigger, the drill wants to rotate, spinning the axle. So what I thought of, let's put a cable around it like that. Comes through. This is real country. This is, look at the state of that. So that's that. Pulled into this some eight mil copper tube, into these two clips, into another one. So this cable then runs all the way down. Another little centralizer stops the cable from sagging too much as well all the way down to the lever which then i can control so if i come i don't want to show you too much but if i pull that this all needs to be a little bit spruced up so you can hear it there you go i'm not going to show you guys too much because that's what i'm going to show you in the next video but uh, yeah, no, pleased with that. So I'm going to clean that up a little bit. And then uh, should be good. Oh yeah, check me bad boy wheels out. Oh yeah. Oh. <clears throat> right, so I'm super pleased with this conveyor belt. We've used so much scrap material from wood to metal to some rubber. I think the dogs are approving of it. But um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. On the next one, I'm going to have it all cleaned up. I'm going to have all the little scrappy bits tidy and uh, give it a good test. So get ready for it. It should be good. And also, we're going to have a name put on it as well. So let's get on with it and we'll freshen her up. All right, guys, stay safe and we'll see you in a bit. Come on, buddy, me old, me old boy. Let's go. Come on, mate.